jump in the Mix It video creator. Really? <laughs> Sorry, but that won't work on a psych like me. Yeah! When it comes to flying through the forest, I prove at you! Candelore! No, no, a candelore! Candelore! Ah! Ah! I don't think this is a good time for a battle! And both! Uh, Can Team Ricky, followed by Team Ash and Team Stephen. Congratulations! Can't anyone pronounce my name right? Hey, hold on. What happened to Iris? Over here. <laughs> We're gonna win this for sure! Yeah! What happened to her? Beeper. It appears Chandelure's confused Ray is forcing Iris to see things that aren't really there. You. We've now arrived at the Wishing Bell Festival's final event. Competitors will hold a liquid shaped candle and carry it to the top of Miss Carlton Tower without letting it go out. The first one there is the winner. If your plane goes out, so do you. To make things even more interesting, there are several Pokemon in the tower who will try to extinguish your plane. The trick is to hurry, but slowly and very carefully. Hurry slowly and carefully? That's gonna be a tough one. <laughs> it's tough for common folk, but for a psychic powerhouse like me, it's a piece of cake. I'll be waiting for you on the top floor. Iris and I are going up too. Good luck, guys. Now on your mark, dead, and go. <laughs> for a brilliantly gifted psychic like me. Now why did I think of doing this from the start? Win the club 
explosion. Explosion? Pico Viva. Don't you know? It's a big competition sponsored by the Pokemon Battle Club. Hosted by Don George. And so, Stefan and Sob may have won the Wishing Bell Festival, but who will be the winners of Don George's Club's Explosion Battle Tournament? The answers to many questions are soon to come as the journey continues. On the next episode of 